Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video and today we'll be looking at the beautiful monster Scout Rifle, otherwise known as the Type 38 Arisaka. This is a weapon coming in the Turning Tides DLC and the footage you're seeing of it today is from the community test environment. Now if you end up finding this video helpful or entertaining then I genuinely appreciate taking that split second hit the like button as always. With that being said, as with all of my early looks at unreleased weapons, I won't be doing a full review of the gun as its subjects change before it reaches the full game and I also need longer to fully form my opinion. Now I've dubbed it the beautiful monster for very obvious reasons. Look at this thing, it's stunning. Yes I know it's the skin that's causing most of the effect but it looks far too good for me to ignore. And today really will be an early look at it rather than me giving too many details as scout weapons tend to rely so much on things such as bullet velocity etc and I won't have the hard numbers to hand until the weapon is fully released. I can tell you however that this weapon is designed to deal high damage at close range, closer than the Martini Henry and doing more damage than the Viterli. So this will sound exciting to a lot of you aggressive scouts out there that like to use infantry weapons. But I can't make too much of a comparison to the Martini because of a couple of reasons. One being lag as the CTE has far fewer services to choose from and thus the connection tends to be a lot less reliable. But the main reason is also why I don't have any non-auto rotation footage of this weapon today. Recently I've started showing footage of potential one shot kill weapons both with and without auto rotation because it can so greatly affect how the weapon performs. But in the CTE it felt like the auto rotation has been significantly reduced. So I wanted to do a bit of an experiment with you guys. You'll see me snap to the target a few times in this footage but it's when I've aimed in very very close to the enemy. Most of the time I'm having to free aim as you'll see. This makes it hard to compare to the Martini as well as it's not on a level playing field. Other than I can say it felt somewhat similar to using the Martini without auto rotation at times. So tell me if I'm going mad here because it honestly felt different to me, it really did. Does this look like the auto rotation footage you're used to? Because it didn't feel like it. And tell me if you'd be happy with auto rotation being this way in the full game. It feels a lot more challenging to me in the CTE and I'd be very happy to see that carried across to the full release if it really has been reduced. It would be more fun to use these weapons and I wouldn't feel like I'm getting screwed over by people all the time just locking onto me. But back to the Arisaka itself, it's fun to use. It hasn't blown me away but it does what you'd expect generally. At the right range it tends to one shot to the chest and it also reliably does enough damage at close range to make pistol cleanups very easy. It has 5 rounds per clip which is nice when compared to something like the Martini again. It has a rate of fire of 58 which is faster than a lot of the other scout weapons and once again Again, with this skin it's a true work of art. But one other thing stands out and this surely has to be a glitch. You spawn with 295 rounds for this weapon. I have no idea what that's about. And with that I don't have too much else to say really. Just a quick look at this one today. It does what it should do but I'm more interested in what you think of the footage. Let me know if you think it looks like the auto rotation has been vastly toned down in the CTE and if you'd be happy with it in the full game. There's a link towards the bottom of the description to help support the channel for $4.99 a month if you're feeling especially generous today and it would really really help me out with the minute it really would and I appreciate every single person that sponsors and feel free to like favorite and subscribe I'm get good guy and I'll see you next time laters